Hello everyone! Today we're going to be designing a personalized desktop calendar right here with Canva. So let's get right on to it. So the first thing you have to do is to input desktop calendar right here on the search bar. And then from the drop down, click on see all. So here we are on the templates page. Feel free to choose any template you'd like to use for your personal desktop calendar. As for me, I think I'm going to go with this one, for example. So once you choose one, click on it and then click on customize this template. So here we are on the templates page. In case you'd like to change your template, you can go to the side panel over here and then continuously scroll down and look for some templates that you might like. And in case you're looking for something specific, go to the search bar right here and input relevant keywords depending on what you're looking for. Okay, we're going to get started. So for the um, background color, we can change it to a different color by clicking this button right here. But make sure you select an empty area in your page first so that you'd be able to access the toolbar right here. See? All right, we're going to click on this button. And then from here, we can change it to different colors. You can also choose to use gradient colors if you like. And if you don't like the um, preset gradient colors here, you can edit them out. So go back to the top and click on this page and then you can change your gradient color from here. Okay, as for me, I'd like to use a plain color. Or you can also go to the elements section and input background. And then find some backgrounds under the um, graphics category or the photos category. Let's have this one for example. Once you choose one, click on it and then right click and then select replace background from the drop down. Okay, so now we're going to start laying out our design or our desktop calendar. <laughs> okay, you can rearrange the elements however you want to, but this is how I'm going to be doing mine. So I'm first going to delete some elements that I don't think would be necessary and I'm going to also reposition some elements. So I think I like them all instead of deleting them which would be very difficult because I'd have to manually find them once again. I'm just going to get them out of the way first, select them all by highlighting them and I'm going to resize them just like that. I'm going to move them out of the way first. I'm going to do the same thing for these elements, but I'm going to delete this element right here. I don't think I'm going to need that. Okay, so as for our calendar, this will be it. I'm going to put it right here. Um, the reason for that is because this area will be dedicated to my um, widgets. So I'm going to keep that plain over here because if not, then it will be very hard to see my icons or widgets. So I'm going to place my calendar over here. And I'm going to change the color of this element to something that would match our design. Um, perhaps that's okay. Let's adjust the transparency over here. We can adjust the slider or set um, a number inside this 
box right here. Say, for example, 65. Perhaps that's all right. And maybe we could change the font color to white. Let's give it a try. Yeah, I think that's much better. Oh, oh no. Okay, we're going to remove that first so that we can highlight everything and then change the color all at once. So let's change them all to white and let's put it back here. Great, now that's much better. And okay, we're going to adjust the transparency for these things because those are days of the previous month. So maybe about 75 would be okay. Or maybe 50. We're going to do the same thing for the others. All right, there we go. And I think I'd also like to keep the, um, the font because I like the font. It looks quite cute. Okay, we're going to go to, um, we're going to use this element right here. And we're going to position it properly. Perhaps we can adjust this. I don't want it to be all the way here because this will be covered by my taskbar. But yeah, you can always edit your elements or arrange your elements the way you want to. Oh, wait a moment. I can just easily delete that instead and leave this one out and change its color to this one and then adjust it to, let's just copy this style here. So we're gonna click on this, copy style, paste it here. I think that made it easier. Then we're going to do the same thing for this text. And there it is. I think I just, I'll just remove this one instead. Oh, so feel free to input anything you want to input here on your to-do list, or you can also change this to whatever you want to put here. This is just an example. So yeah, I'm just going to leave that as is. And if you want to move everything at once, make sure to highlight everything and then you can finally move them. All right. And let's see, let's try to, I don't think I'm going to need this anymore. So I'm going to delete that. So depending on your preferences, you can add as many boxes as you want to. As for me, I think I'm quite happy with this one for now. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. And I do like the concept of making, making it personal, like, so I can, also insert photos here. Um, I'm going to change these elements. I'm going to be searching for elements that I'd like to use. And then perhaps this one would do. I'm going to put it here. And I'd like to add a shadow to it so that it could be visible. Let's see what we can do. I don't think there's any option for us to add a shadow, so we're going to have to do it manually. I'm going to type here shadow. And I'm going to use this one. We're going to place it manually here. So we're going to zoom in to be able to see better. And there, I think I'm quite happy with it. So maybe because we put a shadow into it, like 
behind it or something like that. I don't think we're going to be able to automatically add an image here. So I'm going to show you what I mean. Let's say, for example, beach, because I love the beach. And we're going to go to photos. So if you drag it here, instead of like automatically um, going here, it's not going to do that anymore, even though it's a frame element. Perhaps because we added the shadows into it. So if you want to add your photo, you can click on it, resize it, and then place it here, just like that. You might need to zoom in to be able to position your photo better. And there. And then, if you'd like to use your own photos for this, go to the Upload section. And then you're going to have to upload it first from your PC to Canva. So go ahead and click on Upload Files. And once it's fully uploaded, you can use it just like that. You can drag it or you can just click on it. And as for your calendar, which is very important, all you have to do is just change it to whatever month you like, say for example, April, and then of course, 2023. And then you're gonna have to refer to a real calendar to look at the dates and adjust them accordingly. So let's say for example, today is April, or this month is April, we're going to take a look at our calendar. Hold on a moment. I'll try to check my calendar. And fortunately, I think, yeah, <laughs> April 2023 is exactly um, just like this. So I, I don't need to edit them one by one anymore. But if you're going to change it to a different month, then you're going to have to adjust the numbers here. So you can... I change the number by double clicking on them and by inputting uh, numbers here. Just like that. And if you want to keep on adding elements to your desktop calendar, then you can always do that by going to the elements section and by looking for whatever designs or elements you'd like to add to your page or to your design. And if you want to create another design for another month, you can do that. But uh, to save you some time, you can click on duplicate right here. And yeah, instead of starting from scratch all over again, you can just simply um, change the things you want to change. You can also have different themes or colors for each month. So say, for example, we're going to look for another background for the month of May. Oh, let's change this to May 1st. I'm going to make sure it's aligned properly. Okay, we're going to click on graphics. And then select some background elements here that we'd like to use this one for example right click and then oh for some reason I can't hmm I don't think I can use this so we're going to look for another one say this one for example let's right click on it and click on replace background and we're going to change our colors to match our background. So this one, for example, ah, it's too bright. Ah, this one's nice. And yeah, just like that. You just have to adjust everything that needs to be adjusted and rearrange everything according to your preference. And once you're happy and done with your desktop background, you can go to the share button above, click on download, select your preferred file type, check other download settings, and once everything's all right, go ahead and click on download. And there you have it. Hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you 
in the next one.